Hi, it's my time to shine. I really don't really feel too good. I just got out the hospital, but I'm going to do a random reading. It's basically, I'm not going to call it a bonus because the bonus with the Pisces. But since Capricorn was the second in place as far as the views, I decided to go ahead and do Capricorn reading. Plus, I'm a Capricorn. I'm going to do a basic Capricorn read. I'm going to be using my general first deck of cards that I ever used when I started the tarot. And um, that's going to be about it. I'm not going to do a intense reading because I don't feel good and I'm cooking. So I am going to do a basic read and I'm going to pull my first oracle deck I had with terror as well. And see what comes out for that. This is a general read. This is timeless. This could be any day. It could be now. It could be tomorrow. It might have passed. So you're going to take what resonate and you're going to leave the rest. I hope everybody maintaining their health, eating healthy, uh, mentally, spiritual, emotional healthy, because it could take a, 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 a toll on your health. Believe me, on the stress, you got to pull your back, pull yourself back from people, no matter who it is, family, friend, or foe, and you got to focus on you. And I'm just telling my Capricorns this because we is earth signs and as i know as a capricorn we always do everything for everybody we always put everybody first or maybe you have and you change that but you still got to deal with elements and things like that from the past that might travel to the future as far as your health you know your mental so you gotta like just put everything and back and you can't be sucker into nothing. And basically in my life, I just went on ahead and like nobody could hurt me in no type of way because I detach from people. In the past, I attached to people real fast and something they do it hurt me. Um, sometimes I do get attached again, but I pull myself back. Was like, oh hell no, I already went through that. So I tend to be um detached from an individual. It don't matter if it's somebody I'm dating, it don't matter if it's a child of mine, it don't matter if a family member, it don't it don't matter who it is. Yeah. Yeah, whatever the case may be, I'm detached now. So I'll be able to live a healthy, balanced life. And that's the way we caps got to be because if not, yo, we end up sick. We end up stressed. We end up mentally incompetent. We end up emotionally scarred. You know, we have a lot of elements that we have to deal with all because we want to um, be upset at somebody that did something to us or hold on to anger. That's something we do with, we do flawlessly. We could hold on to some shit for years because I did. I held on to some shit for 20 years and more. I ain't going to get into what it was, but it, it was something in a relationship. You, I hold on to some shit. We got to learn to let it go. And it's so hard. It's so hard to do than what we could say. But I'm telling you. I'm telling you, like with me in and out of hospitals, and you know, I know the divine is showing me you want to sit your butt down. You got to listen to me more, open your eye more. Like, don't let nothing get to you. And then see, like every time something about to get to me, God put me down on my ass. I swear, cause He know that I I stick on long to things, and I can't get blessings holding on to situations or people because of a person. People move how they want to move. You gotta realize that in life. And this is to my Capricorn. It don't matter. Matter what placement in Capricorn you are, you might have some um, um, Scorpio in Capricorn or Capricorn or Scorpio. I'm telling you, and this could be for anybody. Stop moving the way people want you to move. Stop being attached to people. It could even be your own husband. You can't be attached to your own husband more than you attached to the divine because he'll sit you the fuck down. I'm just keeping that shit real. Um, without further um, ado... This reading is just going to be a basic general read. This is timeless. It's not um, no certain date. Um, the bottom of the deck is the seven of cups reverse. Basically, all your emotions out for all to see. It's a lot of confusion wrapped around some situation. Who knows? We're going to see what's going on with a situation. Or it could also mean that it's so many choices to take positive and negative. Even though you see which one you need to take, you'll still take the wrong one and then make confusion. So you gotta you gotta keep your mind straight. Don't let nobody put you off focus. I'm telling you. Cause I be doing this sometimes and I catch myself. And that's what I start to do. Like, mm-mm. Don't expect the best with a, with people. Even though they say that's negative energy, it's not. Just always do what you could do as your best and you just wait and wait and see. Because I'm telling you, people will disappoint you. Anybody will disappoint you, but the divine won't. And that's how I am now. I'm done with catering to anybody.
If, do, do put in the energy they put into you. And I learn, I'm learning that is right now. Like, uh-uh. All the energy you put making people happy, you no, know, put that shit right into yourself. Because I ain't trying to make nobody happy no more. Happy for myself. That's it. People only use you for when they need you or they know what type of individual it is. Always remember that, Capricorn. We ball status. So people tend to always be jealous, always be hateful, always on that other phone, run, running their mouth to the next man or female. But at the end of the day, they want to be like us because we really bosses and we really stand on our own two feet. Period. Bottom fucking line. Age don't matter. So. Without any further ado, you will take a resonate. You're going to need a rest. And we're going to go forward. I hope everybody have a great week. Universe, spirit, guys. First card come out is the judgment, which is a good card. You're going to be judged accordingly. Could be about prayer. You could see the kids putting their hand up. They could be putting their hand up because they um bending down to God saying, okay, even kids is going to be judged about what they do. That's your past energy. Because the trumpet is the final call. Always know that. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. Wow, we got the queen of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Beautiful, lovely, pentacles, money in order. Um, We got a lot of wisdom. It's a lot with this card right here. It's a lot with that card right there. That's Capricorn energy. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. I'm going to take. One card, universe, bear God, holy angels, please tell my Capricorns what they need to know. Wow. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You got everything that you want. Family, life, your money, everything. This is for your future. Like, with that reading right there, I could just end it. There's no need to clarify because in the past you got judgment on something. It could be judgment because people kept bothering you. It could be judgment because people kept talking about you. It could have been judgment because somebody was hating on you. It could have been judgment for anything, but you got judgment and clears and the divine let you go on that. He, op he opened the gate. He seen what it was. He, he hit the trumpet. It's now your time to shine. And that's bottom line. You got the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles basically is somebody that's a Capricorn. This is a Capricorn core energy that got her crown around her and if you notice she got the crown she got the money she got everything saying this am i beautiful she don't really care about nothing else. she's the queen bottom fucking line and then you got the ten of pentacles like all your money intact family friends a baby grandchildren whatever the case be in the future everything is going to be where it needs to be in your life bottom fucking line you don't got to deal with nothing else you just got to focus on yourself focus on yourself and stop trying to push too hard stop trying to get everything in order you got to lay back and that's what i have to do you got to lay back and let god because when you stop trying and i just heard this from another reader everything falls in place and this is so true this is so true it is so true and like after like today like i already got things in order in my life but after seeing today like and, and and dealing what i had to deal with again today and it's not even what i'm not even nine months post up of my first surgery no i gotta let it go i'm not i don't worry about others i do what i need to do because i'm going to be blessed you only do give the energy people give to you and just pull back i'm telling you that go for everybody i'm going to take a um one of the cards that was the first decks when I started my tarot, and that sit too flipped out, which was relationship harmony, and remember who you are. Huh, <laughs> bottom line. So I'm going to um do these cards real quick, and watch my food, and I got some paperwork to do. If I feel good, I'm going to move forward. You got passion. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love, life, and career. So you may got passion in a situation and you're trying to figure out which direction to go, even far as your career. I say let go, let God, because if it's the right passion, it's it's going to always be there. And if it's the right career, ain't nothing could change that but the divine. So no need to worry about your career or love life. Just keep it moving. This is for my cats. Just keep it moving. I'm keeping it real. Take that stress off of you. Because I've been seeing a lot of Capricorns like post up and they like under some type of stress. And it's like because they trying to do so much to please others or everybody need them. It's like with Capricorns, everybody always need us for something. I swear, I never seen nothing like it. They really do. Like, and they, they always need us for something. We always need us for something. Like, listen, 
Give us a break. Like, we got our own lives. We got our own stuff that we got to do. Yes, we may do for others, but, yo, it's a time to nip that in the bud because I feel as though I see how people be. be. Regardless, I've been seeing that shit the last three years. And the last year, I've been seeing that shit so clear, I don't even know if I got two third eyes. I pull back and focus on me. When I need stuff or I ain't well, I make it to where I need to go and deal with myself. Everybody needs somebody, but you don't need somebody that's only there at their time. And that's what I'm trying to tell people. That's why people are like, how do you bounce back this and that? Because I pray to the divine. I'm not sitting here acting like I pray because I'm this religion, I'm that religion. I literally be praying all the time. I have meditation time. My house is clear from all negative energy. Anybody that come in my house, best believe when you leave my house, I'm going around my house with saints talking to God, reading the 23rd Psalms as well. Because you got to read the 23rd Psalms in certain parts to do sage. A lot of people don't know that. I let people be. It don't matter what religion you talk about you got to read a passage out of the bible to do the sage or a passage out of the quran and there's a certain passage i don't say nothing i let everybody light up sage how your windows down because that's not my problem but i don't let people come in my house and leave without me saging my own child anybody you, you leave as soon as you leave i'm starting lighting up up and down steps all outside all that because people carry other people energies in your house when they come or in your car or in your surroundings you got to know how to get the negative off i don't want none of that around me i had enough negative in my life i, I am so so done with it i really am you got three cards. You are a special person. You do make a difference. This is for my Capricorns. It's saying we special, and we really are. We too nice, and that was an issue with me, but I pulled back. I used to be way nicer. Positive changes are taking place. Be patient. This is for my Capricorns. I, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Let go. Let the divine. Once you be patient and let go, let the divine, even all the confusion or anything that's going on in your life, because I don't have no confusion. I'll tell you how it is and fuck out of here. Bottom line, I don't give a fuck what you talk about. I don't care if you were 20 bitches, 20 niggas, all that. I stand by myself. If I need to make a call, I'll make that call. Other than that, I don't got time for it, and I just keep it moving. That's what you got to do. I'm trying to tell people. And then you got to take time out. Give yourself time to have fun. For me, I can't really have too much fun right now because I'm dealing with a whole lot of situations and I'm trying to get my health right. But I get what it means. Take some time out like I did this week. And I said, I ain't doing nothing. I'm going to make the fun come to me. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And I did have a nice weekend. I can't even front. I really did. But at the end of the day, my health. Probably going out shopping, doing too much, you know, because I don't, I wasn't going nowhere else. I was going shopping. I was doing little stuff for me. That probably was just a little too much grabbing bags, all of that. Because when I get my other surgery, they said it's like three, six months, six months healing time. I can't do all that. So I need to understand it and understand it clear because it could kill you. So like I'm understanding it. At the day, I'm like, damn, I just got sick. I ain't even do too much. Maybe it's God telling me like this, this little big kill you. Imagine after you get major surgery, what's going to happen if you don't listen? I'm listening. That's why I'm doing my shit when it's winter. So by the time summer come, I could like be moving around because I can't. I can't eat. I can't eat certain shit. I can't like certain shit is going forever in my life once I get this. So with that being said, I'm going to just end the Capricorn reading with, you know, you got your judgment. You passed all the shit you had to go through in your past, and you went straight to Queen of Pentacles, bottom fucking line, and in the future, you got happiness, everything that you need. So, I just want to say, just keep it positive. You may go through ups and downs. You may have a week that's fucked up. You may have a week that's not. That's how life is, and I had to learn to try to balance. I'm still learning balance, but... Most of the time, I like solitude because I don't like other people's energy. I don't want to hear other people's opinions. Oh, I don't like this or why this. Don't ask me shit. This is my residence or this is my life. So you for focus on you. And that's why I do solitude. If I don't do solitude, I do things by going to dinner by myself, meeting other people. That's the type of person I am. I like to explore. I like to meet all other people. Ethnic background, race does not matter to me. So I hope all have a great week. I got a lot to do this week. Hopefully I'll be well by the morning so I can just do what I need to do and come back. Because they understand that I, I'm on 
five days bed rest, but what she said is like not walking around no more, not going shopping or not sitting in a hairdresser chair for two, three, four hours. You literally need to do what you need, come back home, drink some water and lay down. That's it. And that's what I'm doing. So peace, light and blessings to everybody and definitely to my Capricorns. I love every each one of y'all.